What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the podcast. And today, um, sitting with me today, you know, while we get things started uh, for what we're going to do afterwards, um, I have here, um, I would say, another one of, uh, like, you know, OG slash, like, you know, um, you know, close friend to me uh, within this profession. And, uh, you know, again, based on the responses, uh, on Levi's uh, podcast, and I said I would, uh, you know, sit down with this person. Um, straight out of Germany, it's Kiki Diamond. So, uh, Kiki, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, <clears throat> I'm Kiki Diamond. My real name is uh, Christina. I'm 26 years old and I'm from Germany. I play most of the games are Dead by Daylight or GTA 5. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Um, so again, like, uh, very familiar with, uh, what's been asked. So for those, like, you know, who don't know Kiki, you know, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You're going to get to know Kiki a little bit better. Or maybe if you've been following Kiki on Twitch during her streams and, you know, you want to get to know your favorite streamer. So uh, we're, we're going to open up here. So we're going to ask the first question here is uh, how long have you been streaming for? Oh, I think it's two, ye- two or three years. I don't know. Like three think, years. Yeah. Definitely yeah. three years. I think so. Because I'm like, there, there's long. absolutely no way you've been streaming less time than I have. No. Because <laughs> I'm like, we're, we're like, I'm over, I, like, I've been timing myself and I'm like, I know I'm like over three years now. So like, you're definitely over three years for sure. Now I feel old. <laughs> feel old i mean I, I think we're just having fun like you know with, with our with our job here where it's just like you know time flies so much like when you're developing communities having fun playing games like you don't like even when we stream we don't keep track of time we just kind of keep going right right how oh. um and uh you know as you guys know, she does cover like you know the the Dead by Daylight, the the GTA Five. Um, when I met Kiki, like uh, it was through Dead by Daylight. Like she stopped by my stream over on Twitch. You know, back when I didn't really think of anything of it. And was, was playing uh, with Gail and Kemi, and you streamed on PS4 and. It was fun to see you guys playing. Right? Well, it was like, it was a whole lot different because, like, Kiki just stumbled upon our stream. You know, just like being on, you know, from another continent, another country, like, six hours, six hours ahead. And it was just like, you know, just uh, stumbling upon and uh, just being drawn in. And then, you know, I've had a chance to check out her content and everything as well it's fun to see her work you know just uh kiki being kiki and uh maybe i'll uh, i'll put up a clip while we uh while we broadcast this and you can probably see like you know kiki being kiki if i can find a a pretty good <laughs> clip about that um so where do you primarily stream like it's twitch right yes only Twitch. Only Twitch, guys. So, like, if you're trying to look for her anywhere else, like, I know, like, maybe twice a year or something like that, she'll upload something to YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I was recording yesterday some uh, videos, and it was pretty good, the rounds. I didn't think playing with some randoms are uh, so bad, but they was they are pros wow i i escaped the first time i escaped 
We're fandoms. <laughs> Compared to the stream later, we just got like absolutely destroyed. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That was like a night and day difference. Like last night, if you guys are like tuned into the stream, it's like me, Kiki, Banana, Rush, you know, like certain different times of the day, and we just like got ruined. Like, but then again, I felt like we weren't really playing that serious either. A lot of us were just kind of fooling around, messing around with different perks. So it was just like, hold on, you're a robot for me. I was gonna say like we we were just fooling around and having fun, just not really taking it too serious. And, um... So, okay. We're just... Okay. Alright. We just had to fix an audio issue here. Yes. You was like a robot for me. Shout out he. <laughs> T pain up in here. Uh, next question is, uh, what inspired you to become a streamer? I was watching a video from uh, Ochido. Ochido, okay. Yes, he is a Spanish Dead by Daylight player, and he was. I don't know. He first I thought he was like a sweetheart who is um, good to his friend, uh, to his uh, viewer and follower and then I realized his way to uh, speak and to play. He was toxic and he was only raging and saying bad things. Then I was on his um, Discord server and he was flirting with younger people like younger um girls oh boy yes and then i heard from a girl he was flirting with a mother oh wow come to spain and uh but only your children and you need to pay your uh bills and the hotel i was like what is wrong with this with this guy and then I started um, making videos for YouTube and then I think a month later I was streaming on Twitch. Okay. A different name. So it all started from there and then it just yes. got bad with the community and you got out of it? Yes. And then you just did your own thing afterwards? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm like, this is new. And again, this is like something good that we talk about with other people all the time. It's just like, you, you learn and <laughs> you discover something new. Yes. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I, I didn't even expect that story. I was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like if, if there was like a camera on me right now, like you would see my face. My face was like my eyes shot wide open. I think my <laughs> mouth was kind of like opening. I was just like... What? <laughs> He's a very bad person. I mean, uh, his videos are funny, but he's a bad person. Uh, I mean, you're probably gonna say like you know, not not you, but I would say like in, the public in general like will know like, in light of this uh, speaking out movement, people are speaking out about certain streamers, certain content creators about the way that they are outside of streams and what they say and what they do. It's like people doing things like that. Like harassments yeah. and uh, you know, trying to set up things with certain people outside of streams and stuff like that. Like it's it's really bad. Like, you know, like, it gets to a point, like, you know, when you have, um, like, a status, like, this, this level to you that, like, you know, because you're a big streamer, you're a big name streamer, and you have this huge following, and th this money that you're making because you're a partner, 
in this revenue and stuff like that, donations that, you know, you're untouchable. But, you know, the, the things you do, the things you say is not, you know, you're, you're not protected by anything when you do and say things that are inappropriate towards people. No. So like, but, hmm? go ahead. But karma got him. He was lost, lots of follower and do you know hybrid? Yes. He was a mod from uh, him and he was leaving him because of his, uh, yeah, his uh, bad manners. But he was making with his uh, girls fewer and he was like, nope, I am out of there. I don't want to uh, be with you and to play with you. No. Wow. So, yeah. Karma got him. And that's it. Like, again, this is like, no matter how big you are, like, you know, doesn't excuse the crap. Like, it doesn't excuse you from being a horrible person. Yes. Like, karma will come get you. Like, you know, you'll you'll get what you deserve in the end for treating people a certain way and for being the type of person that you are. Aww. All right, we'll go to the next question from here. <laughs> um, what is the the story behind your username? The story behind my username? Uh, first, I called myself Ririccio because of an anime that I was like. And then... Changed it because someone called me uh, Kiki. Okay. And I was like, okay, uh, why not uh why i change reach you to kiki but kiki is i don't know it's not so good looking then i was um thinking what it what looks good on kiki and then i was uh, like okay diamond diamond is nice <laughs> it's good. And then I was calling myself Kiki Diamond. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, there, there was a time I saw the name uh, Riccio. When, um... I forgot where I saw that name. It was somewhere else. And then I was just like, who's... F like, you know, it has, like, Kiki's face there. But then, like, it's the name Riccio <laughs> there. And I'm like... Different name? Okay, cool. And then... Yeah. I think this is like the first time like me and Kiki has ever sat down in this sort of thing and talk about things like this. So like, you know, we we've been friends for like a very very long time, three years. Yeah, to today, two thousand eighteen, I think. So like, I would say like what two years, two and a half years, or something yes. like that. It's been a long time. And like, oh, yeah. just sitting down and opening up like this with these questions, like. Again, two two years of friendship, but then, like you know, very. I feel like I know very little, and this is just like amazing to to know and to learn, you know. Mm. Um. So we got this. We got the username. Um. Describe yourself with just three words. Oh. Like uh, not like you. Maybe you as a person, but like more like Kiki Diamond, the streamer. I'm a friendly person. Friendly, okay. And some people call me funny. It's funny? But I don't know if I... Yes, but I don't know if I really are funny. Comments below, guys. If you're part of Kiki's community or even my community and know Kiki, let her know if she's funny in the comments below. <laughs> and I swear a lot. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, very cursive. Um. 
I'm good looking. She's pretty, yes. All right. I guess uh, we'll, we'll, we'll end it with those traits. Okay. And uh, my, my dog's going off a little bit here. Give me one moment. I need to take care of this. <laughs> All right. Um, so we just ended with the describe yourself with three words. Yes. All right. So the next question from here would be, what goals do you wish to achieve through streaming? I don't know. That's yeah. fine if you don't have a... Uh, I, uh, next question, please. <laughs> it's okay. Um, what is your most difficult struggle as a streamer? And um, how did you overcome it? Most struggle? Yeah, what was, like, difficult? Like, a, how, like that you had to struggle with? I was playing, I think it was Black Desert. Okay. And there were some guys who came into my stream and uh, said bad words. Um, and yeah, I had no mod, so I needed to block them. Then they came into my uh, Discord server and did the same thing. Oh no. Yes. And, uh, but my mods are on Discord very, very fast and block them, kick them, bump them. This That's was, good. yeah, it, it, it was like, she, why did they do this? Why did they destroy a stream? Yeah, like, it's really tough, and, um... I don't... Like, it... it if you guys haven't heard the, the podcast that I had with uh, Banana and Cherry, um... I would I'd highly re uh, recommend listening to that. Um... But, yeah, th this goes back to <laughs> the fact that, like, you know, I, I don't know what gives people the right to terrorize I don't know if it's like a thing but you know it, it just finds it easier to harass female streamers who are just trying to have fun and just playing a game but like it, it just makes it seem like you know they're a lot more vulnerable to attacks by like a lot of people out there like it makes like, I don't know why, like, they think it's easier to come in here to go in and say certain things towards them and in their streams. And then taking it upon themselves afterwards to jump into a Discord and do the same thing. Oh, yeah. I was glad that my boyfriend uh, wasn't there. Oh, wow. He will destroy them all. I, I bet, like... No one likes to see, like, you know, their um, significant other, like, get attacked, like, you know, whether it be in person, whether it be in a video game or something like that, like, if something were, were to attack, you know, my girlfriend, like, you know, if I ever had one, like, you know, y you have to put your, uh, your armor on, you gotta, you know, man up with your sword and just jump into the battle and start <laughs> fighting people, you know what I mean? You gotta defend your honor, defend your lady, That that's the code. It's That's like I must right. do battle, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, no one touch it. No one touch my no no square. That's exactly right. No one touches my no no square. And that no no square is my lady. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, no no square means something else, but today, it, it's my lady. <laughs> um, I have. I'm gonna have a lot of fun editing this later. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's the struggle in overcoming it. Um, you know, if you weren't streaming, 
but like if you had time to um and this is not a great time to do updates my computer um i just had like a notification it's just like would you like to update and i was just like sure just just do it uh, um if you weren't a streamer what would you be doing like would you still be doing like content creating like to youtube or like you know something else <laughs> If I was? Uh, like, what? Like, if you weren't streaming, like, would you yes. still be, like, a content creator? Like, would you still, like, upload, like, videos to YouTube or something different? Yes, because my viewer know me and they are like, when did they come another video from Dead by Daylight? Because I don't know if they like when I play Dead by Daylight, but they, uh, didn't know that I play like shit. Okay. Or GTA videos or something else. And I wanted to react, to make a video that I uh, react to another videos, like TikTok videos. Oh, oh. That's something I want to see. Yes. Or going to, uh, I don't know if you uh, know the platform, right? Was it? I don't know. Is it? It's a um, site where you can chat with other people. You have your cam and watch. Is it like what? Like them. chat roulette? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, there is a really funny person who did this. She calls SS Sniper Wolf, and it was so funny what she <laughs> saw. She saw her ex boyfriend. Oh no! And she was, yes, she was like, "What do you do here?" I know. I wrote on Twitter that I am on um, Omega. Yes, it was Omega. Omega. Okay. Okay. Yes. What do you do here? He. I don't know. I was looking, she she was like, yeah, you're looking for girls, I think. Ooh. Yes. Or did you look for something else? Like the pee pee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Imagine just being outed like that. <laughs> no. But I think what... I don't know if it's like a European thing where it's like it's really big, I guess, in that in that area to like really be out like chatting, like just to meet people through chats, like whether it be like a VR chat or just like a regular chat room or like Omegle or chat roulette. Like I, th I think like you know like Europeans are a lot more open with mm -hmm. that aspect. Like this used to be like a really big thing, like way back when I started using computers in like in like the mid 90s like when <laughs> like back when we first like had our computer and like you would go to like geocities.com and find a chat room and just start chatting up with people you don't know what these people look like because like I didn't yeah. think like webcams were a thing back then and if you could afford one it'd be super expensive but um like I remember like when I was young and like that would be super fun to go on chat rooms and just chat with people but, like, it was a really scary place because, like, you're just an alias. You're just a name in the chat room. And then people would just, like, you know, ASL. Yes, ASL. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys have, like, A slash S slash L, age, sex, location, people would ask you that. And <laughs> just so uh, they know how old that they're that the person that they're talking to, the the gender of the person that they're talking to and where they're from. Oh boy. That that was something you had to clear the waves with before you started ta talking to people cuz it's like you're like, "Hey Kiki, ASL?" <laughs> yes, of course. Why not? Wait, what? What is ASL? <laughs> right. So you just like <laughs> when you didn't know the 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 slang or the 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 lingo is like what, what what the hell is asl and then you have to like google, google didn't exist back then either so you just like you had to ask somebody it's just like what's asl and they'd be like oh age sex location 
And it's just like, <laughs> oh, um, you know, 13 male Canada. <laughs> And then people would stop talking to you because it's like, you know, you're just, you're just this kid going into a chat room. It's just like, oh boy, I gotta... Bye. <laughs> I know we had the same thing, but it calls knuddles. And right. there was so weird people. Oh my god. There are so many weird people on the internet. Yes. Like, it, like, like, the internet is like a lot more tame than it was back then. Like, sure, we have a lot of crazy people still, but, like, again, back then was, like, different. You can, you can f fake yourself so bad, like, you can be like, I'm 13, but let's just double my age. Let's just make it 26. I'm a 26 male from thing, but, like, you, you could catch people's lie right away by the way they type. Uh -huh. And stuff like that, so it's just, like, it's so much easier to catch people in a lie. Yeah. And, like, you know, when people pretend to be girls on the internet. And this is, like, the day-old oh. joke to this day. It was just, like, there's no such thing as girls on the internet. It's just, like, guys posing as girls <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Want some fun. Right? And play with people's feelings. It's just, like, a lot of people just fishing. Just, I don't know what, what there's, like, the, what satisfaction <laughs> they gain from it. But it's such a... It's such a horrible place. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I'm just going back. I'm just like, thank God I just, like, you know, go to, like, just, like, teen chat rooms. But then again, like, it's really scary in those things, too, because you get, like, old people posing yeah. as teenagers. But you really don't think of anything. You're just like, oh, like, yeah, I listen to music. Oh, like, yeah, I watch these TV shows. And <laughs> that's it. That's all you talk about. To right. be honest, like, be aside from, like, I forget like, half the conversation, like, I would say a good chunk of the conversations that you had when, like, you just jump into a chat room. It was that long ago, but, yeah, going back to it, there were, like, you know, it, it's still a culture to this day where, like, people are just going out, doing video calls and stuff like that, just having, yeah. like, chats and conversations with people that they don't know, and just trying to, like, branch out and getting to know people, which is good. Yeah. Cause I know, I like, think I would try it with Omega. Only under supervision, right? Mm. Like, like, you know, your boyfriend would have to watch you, uh, you know, do the, the, the cam. As long as I don't flirt or see dicks, everything <laughs> is okay. <laughs> oh. oh, man. But I know there are some dicks waiting. <laughs> It's it's so bad because I I've seen these videos where it's like you, people like ch click next or something like that because like I think there's like a timer or something like that and then it changes and the, like the next image you see is like a <laughs> giant dick in your face and you're just like <laughs> okay I'm done bye mm -hmm. uh -huh. and just so you know guys it's it's not cool to whip it out to no. girls don't want to see that yes like girls I, I, want conversation like do this. exactly like i don't know what makes it right for guys to just whip it out and just say like you know here it is do you like it do you like what you see it's it, no it's not cool no one wants <laughs> to see it like i i think for a lot of guys who do that it's like guys who are very insecure uh-huh and it's just like, if you're that insecure about yourself, like, you know, you don't need the validation of people on the internet to make yourself feel good. Like, and I'm not going to go on and bash people about it. I'm just going to go on and say, you know what? If you're insecure about yourself, work on yourself. Validate yourself by, like, you know, picking up some hobbies, being good at those hobbies, being good as a, interpersonally as a person. And you wouldn't need people to kind of go on and tell you about the stuff and you wouldn't have to go around showing your dick and balls to people <laughs> like <laughs> stop it's... doing that guys like don't do it I'm, I'm telling you right now you're just making us all look bad in the name of men okay <laughs> in the name of all men stop doing this please but it's not only the guys uh -oh. the girls doing it too 
I well, I can't comment that on girls. I I, I can't speak on behalf of women. So all I can say is on behalf of my gender, women, I apologize on behalf of my gender. Um, not all of us males are out there flopping dicks around. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're genuinely nice guys out here. We we there's a lot of us here that are really awkward speaking. I, I apologize. We were really bad speakers. You know, we're we're just only trying to you know be honest people out there. And there's you know a couple of dicks out there really willing to ruin it there for people. <laughs> um. You know, that's why we have to go to role-play games. That's why Kiki plays a lot of role-play games. Like, you know, whether it be Aww. RPGs, like MMOs, or GTA Five, Like, those games are, okay. like... I, they're different, they're different. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm saying this in a way where it's just, like, you know... The way I look at, like, role-play, whether it's, like, a, a GTA game or an MMORPG, like, you're still chatting with people. Like, you're, you're still striking a conversation, but you have, like, a digital being representing you. But the difference is in these games, like, you're not, like, full-on buck-naked and just be like, to go, to be out. Oh, but you can be anything you want. And that's nice you about that. Like, it, it's you. it's innocent fun. Yes. But they don't show their uh, dicks. That's right. You don't need to see anybody's junk in that game because no. it doesn't matter. Don't do this. Don't show your... Pee pee your dick and your pus pussy. Please don't do this. That's right. No one wants to see it. No, it's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. No. You heard it from me. It's not okay. Just don't do this. S slide into my DMs. No. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, seriously, I'm kidding. Um, you know, we're, we, we don't want to promote, you know, bad and toxic behavior and the showing of private like because here, here's the thing and i'm not saying that because of you know for the sake of clout or whatever but you know for us as streamers for us like it doesn't matter if we're small streamers or big streamers like we have a responsibility and the obligation to our people to be responsible to be um a source of morality so it's like we have to be righteous people for you guys to um, have that source of inspiration or motivation or um, enjoyment of our community. You know, you never ever should we ever reach out to people within our community, much like Kiki described earlier, to message people to, you know to hook up with people or to show them things that they shouldn't be seeing and it's just <laughs> like it like it should never really get to that point for us as streamers for us as content creators we should never be able we we should never be doing that to our community ever uh -uh. because like sure these people like you and they support your content but there's that line you should never break you should never break that line between you and your community, which makes you feel entitled to using your status or using your influence to do making people doing things that they don't want to do. So don't do this. Don't do it, guys. <clears throat> like, if you want to be a streamer, be a streamer. If you want to be an influencer, be an influencer. But leave it at that. Like, never use your power. Never use your influence to doing wrong and horrible things. Because then you'll find yourself on Twitter 10 years down the road in a speaking out movement. And you're going to get cancelled. Easily as that. Mm -hmm. So, again, you heard it from me and you heard it from Kiki. Don't do it. Um, so we got like three more questions. <laughs> um, who are your closest friends in the, in the streaming industry? Who would I you consider know. like your closest friends? You? Um, then my boyfriend. <clears throat> 
Chicago, of course. Yep. Chumillon, Trosa, and Kazu. That's it. Okay. The, those were the names I expected to show up on the list. <coughs> yes. Oh, wait. I forgot Justin. Ooh, and Justin. Just Siggy. I was gonna say, like, you know, I, I'd be mildly disappointed if Kago didn't make the list. You, you two were, like, inseparable. <laughs> no, she's my babe. That's right, you heard it here first, hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing before you ever came along, homeboy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, if you were to offer advice to somebody who wanted to be a content creator, uh, what would you want to tell them? Again, what? Um, if somebody wanted to become like a streamer or a content creator, um, if somebody were to ask you this question, what would you want to tell them? What, what advice would you like to offer them? Just be yourself. When you want to stream, be yourself, don't uh, act like someone else, and just have fun. And don't overreact when uh, you first stream and don't have some fewer. I mean, it's, it's hard. It's really hard to uh, get some fewer, I know, and some uh, follower. I'm in a... Facebook group who uh, are German streamers and there are lots of people they ask hey I'm streaming but I don't have a uh, fewer what do I do wrong then mm. they uh, make a list you have no interface your microphone is not so good you don't be yourself you uh, make the wrong content um yeah that's it oh so like the, the group actually critiques the person yes. who streams oh wow that's actually quite useful yes and you need a webcam you need a webcam like this is a yes. must yes okay because people want to see your face i don't know why but they want to see your face. All right, I like I kind of agree with it and kind of disagree with it, and I, I guess like the reasons why is just like, you know, uh, the face reveal is like something like I feel like if you have a really good microphone and really good production value, like if your, you know, your overlays aren't too much, and mm. your your microphone has good quality and your gameplay is really good, and you have a good personality to match when you're talking. Then I think like you don't need a good webcam to show your face, but yes. at the same time, it's like you know, um, having people look at your face makes it easier for people to engage you because they're looking at you like in real time, talking to people, reacting certain ways, showing emotions like happiness, sadness, anger, frustration. Everything on on your face is like visible, and they can see it, and they could, I guess, like vibe with it better like they can be entertained by that mm. so i guess it's um it's a little different so that's why i say like you know sometimes it's not necessary but sometimes it could work out depending on the type of viewers that are watching your content but i think it's good to like and much like kiki said here like it doesn't have to be a facebook group but at the same time, don't do it while a person's actually live streaming. Like, if you want that critique and that feedback, I would say message this person privately. Put a link to your stream or whatever it is, the content that you're working on, anything, and just say, Hey, look, you know, my name is such and such. I just started streaming and, um, you know, I decided to message you privately here. Um, but. Um, because I enjoy you, I enjoy your content that I feel like, you know, I could get your feedback and to see what I can do better. What can I improve in? 
and it'd be a whole lot easier that way because like you don't want to go to someone live streaming so like i don't want to go to kiki stream when she's like you know playing games and be like hey i'm a streamer check out my stream drop link bye yes. <laughs> you don't don't do that you know, they're, on Twitch, private messages uh, exist for a reason. You can do it mm -hmm. privately. You can say, like, you, you can drop a whole essay, an introductory thing. Just let people know who you are, what you're about. And um, respect the person. Respect uh, their area. Respect uh, their community. And uh, last question for Kiki is... Um, you know, to, to those who are listening to this podcast, whether it be from my community or uh, whether it be from your community, what would you like to say to all of your followers and subscribers? That I love them. They, I love that they support me and uh, want... I like it when someone uh, comes to me, DM me and say, Hey, do you want to play with me a game? I'm like, sure, why not? Two, no. I, the last time I was playing Dead by Daylight, I was alone and there came a viewer and was saying, Hey, can I join you? I'm like, sure, why not? And then I uh, was playing with him and it was really, really funny to play with you fewer and they support you uh this this is great this is really really great great i love you all that's it okay. and with that guys we're closing out this episode of epicism's new podcast with special guest kiki diamond and uh again if you guys want to catch kiki diamond i will have the links in the description below but uh, I guess verbally, I will say it's twitch.tv slash kiki. Um, so it's K-I-K-I-I. -I -I. So careful. So it's K-I-K-I-I -I -I diamond. That's your username. Yes. And uh, you can watch her. Um, she's bilingual streamer, by the way. So... Even though she is uh, streaming most of the time in, in German, but she also speaks English as well. So she's really easily approachable. So don't be afraid to converse in English. Or if you know German, of course, you know, kind of go in there and, uh, you know, break in that German. Yeah, you can also with me Deutsch sprechen. That's no problem. I understand you. I can English, but I can also Deutsch. Sprechen. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Um, like Banana, she was saying yesterday um, a German word. I think it was good afternoon in German. She said Guten Tag? No, it was Guten Abend. Oh, Guten Abend. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Or Guten Tag. Good day. <laughs> See? Th things you learn, guys. Like... You know, but like, you know, from here, you know, we have to say, uh, Dankeschön and, uh, you know, Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> no, it's, it's never, it's never goodbye, ever. No. Um, you know, you, you only say that stuff, like, you know, in Pleasant Street, uh, greetings and stuff like that, if you were ever in person. But, you know, in, in the streaming community, especially, like, you know, with how fast and, you know, how everything goes, you know, um... You know, uh, there, there's always more games to be played. There's always more times to sit down like this and just have the nice chat to get, you know, to open up a little more, to get to know each other a whole lot more. So um, if you guys enjoyed this podcast, if you guys enjoyed Kiki's, like, you know, overall being, like, you know, I would highly recommend that um, you, you support her and her journey. Um, I will link drop not just her Twitch channel, but uh, her Discord as well. So if you guys want to go join uh, the Discord channel over there as well, you guys are able to do so. Of course, uh, she she lingers on my Discord quite a bit too, but, you know, everyone, not just uh, myself or Kiki, but like, you know, Banana Cherry and uh, Levi, 
like, you know, we're all respective, um, you know, streamers in the industry. Sometimes we got a lot of stuff that we got to handle within our own communities. You know, uh, it's great that we're able to sit down again to just like, you know, talk a lot more often and just hang out a lot more. Looking forward for more days like this to come. I think what I, I might want to try next is having just uh, foreign streamers sit here. So like Kiki, Banana, and uh, someone else. I don't know. Someone who's not American. Actually... Who's not American? Pardon? Who's not American? Or maybe American, because I'm Canadian. So like technically American is kind of foreign. It, we're different countries, so who knows? Might have that fun. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed all this, I, I, I truly appreciate you guys, uh, you guys listening to the podcast because um, from what I can tell, I'm no, uh, I'm no rocket scientist or anything like that. Uh, you know, maybe a doctor, but you guys have shown a lot of interest in the podcast, uh, you know, and, and enjoying the conversations that we've been having. Um, once we get the um, the introductory podcast out of the way, like, you know, if you like to see Kiki come back, if you like to see any of the other past guests come back to talk about different subjects or things like that, then let me know. Let Post it in the comments below. Let us know in the Discord. Uh, for Kiki's community, if you guys enjoyed this and you guys want to hear more of these podcasts, then let her know. Because, um... We're having fun doing stuff like this. It's it's great to, you know, open up memories and just talk about things in the community, what we would want to do for ourselves and what we want to do for you guys. Right. And uh, with that being said, um, thank you, Kiki, for uh, joining me on the podcast today. It's, uh, you know, it's great to know you a little better over two years thank of friendship, you, you know, um, the, the more I know. <laughs> Thank you that you invited me, and it was funny too. <laughs> and this has been E to the PIK, Epic Imida, Kamsanida, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to walk you out now, and we'll see you guys on the next podcast. Bye, guys. Did you guys enjoy that video today? Huh? Don't forget to leave a subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't subscribed already. Also, check out that video over there and uh, that video over there. Uh, leave a likes and only likes on the video and uh, comments as well. And we'll see you guys on the next video.